Hello, everyone. This is Zayami from FilmFestivalCircuit.com and the assistant director of the Oregon Documentary Film Festival. We are gearing up for our spring 2023 session, uh, which is going to be on March 12th at the Clint Street Theater in Portland, Oregon. But today I'm talking to the filmmaker Matt McLaughlin. Hello, Matt. Hi. Hey. Thank you so much for being here today. Well, thank you. I'm, it's, it's very exciting to be a, a part of uh, particularly a West Coast uh, film festival. I grew up in Seattle, so it's... Oh, awesome. Yeah. Well, yeah, so you have, uh, you're screening uh, your film, Your Loving Son, Henry, which is uh, okay. very interesting, uh, a little non-traditional, short and sweet. I just want to ask you, uh, can you tell us what inspired you to make this movie? Um, well, the uh, the letter writer, uh, you know, it's based on this letter written uh, by Captain Henry Sand, uh, who is a direct relative of mine. Uh, and he, it's his sister who is actually the direct blood relation to me. Um, and when my mother's parents passed away, uh, she found a whole bunch of uh, these letters that had been transcribed by his sister that he had written home, including this particular letter, which he wrote from the battlefield while he, you know, he had been shot through the thigh on at oh. Antietam and wrote it out thinking that he might not survive. Uh, and well, he didn't, but <laughs> I mean, that was part of the irony of, of the whole letter. It was such a classic, you know, made me immediately think of uh, like Ken Burns totally. Civil War series uh, from, I guess that was the 80s, I think. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, I was just, I was, it started off as a, a, a class project when I was still mm. um, uh, specifically a cinematic type uh, class by uh, the great Kalika Sharma, Sharma, sorry, um, out here in New York. And uh, I kept going with it after the class finished. It was just, you know, sort of a thing to sort of, I always find it's good to keep, you know, keep learning stuff. Totally. <laughs> um, and yeah, it just, it just seemed such a rich, you know, such a rich uh, letter to begin with there's so much drama you know drama and pathos built into just this one letter and the fact that he then died a month later never leaving uh the battlefield totally um, well it's interesting you know the the content of a letter it's uh short but it is like you said very uh, inflected with cinema and pathos yeah. and uh you know much like the ken burns stuff it gives uh, a very personal face to this historical conflict mm -hmm. i want to know um you know, because the style of your film is kind of Ken Burnsy, but I think it it takes it on the new a newer level, maybe where technology has led us. It's it's an, it's extremely cinematic, weirdly enough, even though it is just stills. Right. How how did you how did you go about doing that? Um, it was, you know, I've been in. I mean, part of it was definitely informed by Ken Burns's Civil War. There's no question about that. Totally. You know, the slow push-ins and right. things like that. Um, I don't know. It just felt, I mean, some of it was other, uh, I don't remember precisely the, uh, the people who did it, but, you know, also in, in that class originally, you know, so a lot of the, you know, we were shown various, uh, um, examples of using just still images. Also things like, uh, Le Jete came to mind. Mm. Um, I mean, not directly, you know, I'm, you know, <laughs> <laughs> Not to shoot quite that high, but you know, it, uh, it, things like that also were probably okay. in the back of my mind to a certain degree. Um, and also, I just sort of I seem to get attracted towards uh, collage and image collage. Okay, for, yeah. For you know, for illustration, as opposed to doing, I mean, I do do hand drawn or you know, drawn stuff like an Illustrator. Okay. Or, physically drawn um but i do enjoy taking you know sort of found sort of found objects my sister is a fantastic artist and she does sort of similar stuff so maybe it's mm. a, in the family family trait maybe, <laughs> maybe it's a family trait i don't know 
Well, well, it is cool because I think on one level it reads as uh, Ken Burns' influence. On the other level, it has uh, a great balance of the image collage and the typography and everything working together. So it, it I think it, it actually puts it into somewhat of a more subjective uh, realm for the for the letter mm. writer. It's it's very cool. I want to know uh, what was it like making this? Did you uh, uh, learn anything new? Did you experience any hurdles? Um, uh, I mean. In regards to imagery, thankfully it was, you know, there was a lot of uh, Library of Congress stuff. So okay, that yeah. wasn't so much a worry, um, you know, because especially when you're working on very basically no, you know, no budget, <laughs> you know, totally. you worry about things like that. Right. Um, and uh, I'm trying to think, um, you know, just the learning of timing you know, that was, this was really the first full time I really sat down and really tried to time out. And I had to adjust it once because the, the first time I did this uh, project, I was the voiceover. Uh, uh, but I later got my long, long time. Uh, I went to uh, elementary school with him, David Hogan, who is the actual voiceover artist on this piece. Okay. He's, he's an actor in Seattle and he's fantastic. And I really can't thank him enough for you know for doing it because he had you know the proper recording equipment and right. all of that stuff so it sounded so much more professional and you know he totally. could put some more pathos into just into the speaking and the you know right. uh so you know timing the words getting that right um yeah i mean even right down to the line i was still adding some things here and there um I'm not sure if that answers the question quite right. No, absolutely. Um, and uh, I'm also wondering about, because uh, I think one of the, the richest elements is the sound design. Mm. That's, I mean, it really thrusts you in. Uh, is that, uh, how, how is it working on the sound design? I mean, you really, you have to, it's a challenge to bring these uh, uh, old photos to life, but I, you know. Yeah. Um, I mean, my first thought was, oh, well, of course I'll put music over this, but as soon as I started looking around trying to find music, I realized that that's was definitely the wrong way to go because mm. music influences your emotions so much, even, you know, even if it's just a subtle little bit of music it, and it felt forced. Okay. Yeah. If you follow me. Um, so it was a matter of trying to find some, you know, sort of semi period sounding, uh, you know, gunshots and things mm -hmm. like that, because, you know, the majority of stuff that you can find at least on first look uh is all you know modern weaponry and modern right. weaponry does not sound <laughs> <laughs> does not sound right um yeah i really i it's it was all done in uh premiere okay uh and i really enjoy that part of things okay so you like that you like that editing you like the collage putting it all together yeah, yeah. Well, so now I'm curious, uh, what is next for you in the filmmaking arena? Or is there any more uh, in this in this story that you want to do? Is there anything else in this vein that you're interested in? Well, there are two directions, I kind of feel, two directions right now, possible third, that are pulling me. Um, one is uh, a cousin of mine uh, did a fun, um, uh, what tune song hmm. uh, and i've been sort of wanting to do a, a lyric video okay totally uh the two other directions are um i have yet another <laughs> uh relative down my down my mother's side uh who was a german anarchist Whoa. uh who attacked and murdered a guy in front of his children oh geez okay <laughs> so, a very different type of person. He's also yeah. named Sand. Also Sand. This is Carl Ludwig, Carl Ludwig Sand. So it's sort of the opposite of Captain Henry, who, you know, is pretty much impeccable, at least, you know, in the way he comes across. I mean, totally. I'm sure he was, you know, he's a human, so we're all right. all flawed. But uh, yeah, no, this uh, Carl Ludwig is a very interesting, interesting person. Uh, yeah. Do you have uh, letters and those types of materials? Uh, no, but um actually i have the, my father um and another relative of mine peter sand uh put together and edited a full collection of all of captain henry sand's book uh mm. letters uh which oh I, wow 
uh, credited, you know, is credited obviously yeah. because this is the, the record of it all. Um, and Peter Sand also knows a lot about um, Carl Ludwig. Mm. Uh, and I believe Peter's in Switzerland. Um, he was somebody that we didn't know until maybe, I don't know, 15 years ago, 20 oh, years okay. ago. But like relatively, I mean, that's not all that recent, but it was, it felt right, you know, it's more recent right. than me. <laughs> so I, I might go that direction as well, although that would be a bigger project because we don't have, at least I don't, I don't have uh, a nice, perfect little piece of writing mm. like the Captain Henry piece. Totally. Well, that'd be interesting. You have uh, exploring these themes of family and uh, yeah. the different the different strands of uh, uh, people in your bloodline. I think it'd be very yeah. interesting. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to add about your film? Um, I just really enjoyed making it, and I'm really happy that other people can will get to see it. I never really thought I would be in a position where something I made could be seen on a screen in a theater, and I'm very excited about that. And I really thank you guys at the uh, uh, festival for including my piece. Awesome. Well, I love that. I love that attitude. That's perfect. And I'm very much looking forward to screening this on the big screen on uh, March 12th at the Clinton Street Theater. Thank you so much for talking with me today. Thank you. Looking forward to seeing more from you. Excellent. Right, have so a good much. one. <laughs>